University of Miami football players in the hospital right now after getting injured during practice. The sophomore had to be airlifted to the Ryder Trauma Center. That's where we find CBS 4's Gary Nelson. And Gary, I understand you have some good news for us on this. Uh, we do indeed have some good news. UM late this afternoon released a statement saying that this young man suffered a neck injury in practice today. He was flown here to Ryder Trauma Center where he was immobilized. He underwent a battery of tests and the word is he is expected to recover and should be released uh, as early as tomorrow. It was at a routine practice like this one at UM that a player took a wicked hit today that sent him to Ryder Trauma Center. UM head coach Al Golden confirmed to me that the player is number 13 there, sophomore linebacker Marquise Gayote from Lake Worth. The university initially issued a very low-key statement saying a University of Miami football student athlete suffered an injury during practice and was transported to to the hospital for precautionary reasons. The scary truth is that Gayote, who has had an outstanding season, was air rescued from the practice field to Ryder Trauma. Head coach Golden and perhaps a half dozen players were maintaining a vigil in the lobby this afternoon. A grim-faced Golden telling me the stricken Gayote is an outstanding young man, an excellent player with great discipline and a determined work ethic. And again, late word from UM today is that Marquise Gayote, while suffering a neck injury, apparently has escaped serious trauma. He's been evaluated here at Ryder, immobilized, undergone a battery of tests. It's expected he will be released wearing a neck brace as early as tomorrow. No word on when or whether he might return to the football field. For now, we're live at Ryder Trauma Center. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. All right, Gary, thank you.